Because it is May 26th, I decided I would record a video to go along with the hashtag save tf2 movement that's going through social medias right now at least presumably i've seen some stuff on youtube and now i don't have any uh any social medias except for youtube and uh face uh, space hey right and a lot of you probably haven't even heard of space hey but what's going through right now is um, people are, are rallying, trying to make hashtag t save TF2 trending because the game, Team Fortress 2, is completely unplayable right now. I am a, a, a big fan of TF2. A and I know I haven't made any videos on it, but I, I actually had a few down the pipeline. <laughs> and I figured, um, e e even, if, um, even if my platform is very small, I, I ought to I ought to make a video on it to at least say that I pitched in, you know. I've never been a big fan of the we've tried nothing and none of it's worked mentality that um that permeates a lot of problems people try and talk about online. Even outside of the scope of TF2 or video games. Um but people are sharing their experiences with TF2, talking about what it means to them, talking about the problem to help people who aren't informed. And I, uh, I am nowhere near eloquent enough to talk about, uh, you know, what the problem even is or what might be causing it. So I figured I'd give my perspective of, of the game itself because I, I actually have a point of view that probably isn't shared very often in the TF2 community. I am, relatively speaking, a new player. Um, I, I had sort of dabbled with the game in, in 2019, but it, I hadn't really started playing it a whole lot until 2020, when we were all locked inside. I think I started playing the game around August. So I've been around in Team Fortress 2 and in the community, basically for as long as the Bob problem. And seeing what the game was like before I got into it and before all of this bot bullcrap, right? It, it, it's really made me... It's almost made me envious, right? Because... I have experienced firsthand, even if I'm still not very good at Team Fortress 2, just how much mechanical depth is in the game, just how much you can do in it. And I, I, every time I, I log in, I, I feel that feeling of I could do literally anything in this game and uncover something new. Even if it's just me slowly getting better, right? That's a new feeling. Every time I feel myself doing something I've never done before, I that's something new. And I think that's a, a gorgeous thing in a video game. But speaking of logging in, I have hesitated to bring myself to do it for about half the time I've ever played this game, right? Because I know that simply trying to find a game where I'm not going to get completely stomped for one reason or another is hell. I try and go in casual, I'm going to find bots that break my ears or upset me with, you know, slurs and, and horrible things in chat, and if I try and go in community servers, I'm likely to not have a lot of fun because there's not people around my skill level, you know. I've seen a, I've seen a few people talk about this particular subject i'm about to bring up namely fish stick on a stick he's brought up that you know community service especially uncle topia which is a safe haven for a lot of players it's very very sweaty and you know i've tried other servers i've tried skyle i've tried um casual.tf casual.tf still ha is full of people who just pub stop right and i i greatly respect people who want to play with people that aren't complete gyms, right? You know, pub stompers, they, they kind of want to play with other pub stompers because it, uh, it actually poses a challenge. 
but I think a lot of those people forget just how many people aren't really that great at the game. Um, I, it's weird. I feel like I am in the majority and in the minority because I have joined this game recently, but I feel like I'm in the majority because I'm still not very good. I only have about 250 hours in the game, which is a lot by my standards for any game. But it's nothing in the, in the scheme of how many hours people have put into Team Fortress 2. I, I just want the game to have normal casual servers so that I can actually play it and, and learn things about how I like to play the game and all of that. Hell, I mean, I like playing Spy. Spy is my favorite class, but he's not my most played class because I just feel like I can't play him and actually get anything done. The, the learning process with Spy right now for me is completely unbearable. I can't stand trying to learn how to get better with him when it seems no matter what, what I do, better players just completely obliterate me. And I want casual to be there so I can practice against people who are maybe more my skill level. And casual isn't there right now. Please, Valve. I, I remember watching, I can't remember if it was a Lazy Purple stream or an Uncle Bane video. But one of those two mentioned the idea of selling Team Fortress 2 to a developer who could maybe handle it better. I'm not saying give it to the community, but if you're not going to do anything with Team Fortress 2, make a big chunk of profit off of it and give it to a developer who would like it. Who, who knows? Maybe Epic Games can turn it into a better game. I don't, I don't know anymore. Uh, Team Fortress 2 is a complete clusterfuck of nine classes, 24 players, all swarming around an objective and insta-killing each other. But underneath that is a gorgeous layer of mechanical depth that I feel like isn't in a lot of other shooters, let alone casual shooters. Save Team Fortress 2.